made in China, made in India, made in Guatemala, made in wherever. Oh, election time. When the loss of factory jobs in America suddenly becomes a favorite talking point among politicians. And we are going to bring our jobs back into this country for the first time. Since 2001 in America, we have lost almost 60,000 factories, millions of decent paying jobs. But could you only buy products made in the U.S., even if you wanted to? And is it worth it? A lot of things that used to be made in the U.S. aren't anymore. If I were to take everything I own that's not made here, what would I have left? Uh, not much. Guys, can, can I just have my couch back? Just know we're done? It's not surprising. The U.S. has lost 5 million factory jobs since 2000, and 97% of all clothing sold in the U.S. is imported from overseas. At least American Apparel has that going for it, even if it is a little... Ooh. But as a consumer, it's not always easy to find out where things are from. One thing you won't find made in the U.S.? A cell phone, or basically any other electronic. New hobby? Coloring. Buying American Made won't leave you totally deprived of everything you need. But well, why even bother? Well, manufacturing jobs are important because they're well-paying jobs with benefits that don't require a college degree, making them a path to the middle class for many Americans. And when it comes to outsourcing, we're not just talking jobs. We're sending our pollution overseas, too, as factories move to countries with fewer environmental regulations. And then there's the environmental cost of all that extra fuel used to ship goods halfway across the globe. Labor in other countries is often cheaper, but that sometimes comes at the expense of workers' rights. Sewn by the nimble fingers of a 10-year-old. <sighs> of course, there's no guarantee that buying U.S. made means buying from companies that are ethically or politically compatible with your views. <laughs> Nothing like giving my money to the Koch brothers. And global trade means labels don't tell the whole story. A shirt made in Bangladesh may be made of U.S.-grown cotton, and an appliance assembled in the U.S. may use foreign-made parts. Economists say that moving production of popular items back to the U.S. would raise prices for consumers. Wait, how much is that? But a study from the Alliance of American Manufacturing found that if Americans spent just $64 a year on U.S.-made goods, they would create 200,000 jobs. There's also the argument that it's not about buying locally, it's about free trade. But the U.S. has been importing more than it exports for decades. And even if it returns, U.S. manufacturing probably won't look like it did in the 1970s. One thing is clear, if consumers really are dedicated to buying U.S.-made goods, they're going to have to change their ways. And what's it going to take to make that happen? Mm -hmm.